Hey, last week I did a video where someone had a question about what I call complex containers and the way we solved it was to have a three parent containers. So look at this layout, you can see it over here, okay? Um, this is done with three parent containers. We have parent container one that contains two child containers. We have parent container number two, which now has a uh, one child, two child, three child, but then inside of here, you then have two grandchildren as well. So in total, this container is parent container, three children, and then six grandchildren. That's one big family. And then down here, we have another parent container and then three children. Why was this done with two grandchildren? Well, basically, you have container, container, container for the three children. And then inside of there, you had your grandchildren. But... I did explain in the video, and I want to show it off here, how you don't need to have this many child, sorry, grandchild containers. So what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate that section there. So we got it originally over here. You can see it there. And we also have it there. To clarify things, here's the navigator. Here's the parent container. Here's the three children containers. And each of these child containers has two grandchildren because the idea is that if you wanted to now put anything into these boxes you would drop them into the grandchild containers but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna say uh, -uh we're just gonna have a parent and three children with no grandchildren i know it sounds really mean doesn't it but let's just get rid of those grandchildren over there so we still have our child container present now the height of this was 100 pixels and this was i think I think I'm gonna get this wrong now. Yep, yeah, this was 200 pixels high and this was 100. What we're gonna drop into here is a text editor and an image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drop in the text editor like that. And the second thing I'm gonna drop in is the image like that. So inside of our child container, we now have two items. Now they nicely fit the height, that's fine, because of, you know, this container at the moment is set to be a column like that. That's okay, but it's not doing the right layout. My image must be 100 pixels high and my text editor must be 200. Let's go in and just touch the image first. Let's go and pick one in. Let's just go for, I don't know, one of these crazy little images that I've got over here, like that. I'm gonna set it to be full resolution. Now the size of this, I'm gonna go and set the pixel height of this to be 100. Now, as soon as you do that, you have the option for object fit appear. This will only appear when you have a value. So I put in 100, that is now there. I could go with uh, contain, which is not advised, or I could go with cover. Now, the cover might not show you exactly what you want to see because it doesn't allow you to go center, center, top center, and all of that. So maybe you need to go into media library and adjust your image, you know, the way you crop it. But this is 100 high. Uh, but can you see it's not sat at the bottom and some of you might sit there going well that's easy just go in over here and go with space between but now we have this huge gap over here this must occupy an area of 200 pixels high so let me just take off that space between let's leave it like that at the moment by the way though if you do find that when you hit cover it doesn't stretch all the way across just make sure that your width and your maximum width is set to be a hundred as well like that sometimes it happens where it doesn't go all the way just make sure you've got a hundred hundred over there and this would be set to your height now let's go back to the text editor let's just give this a background color for a moment in fact now let's change the text to be white and we'll give it a background color. I haven't done the bottom padding. I've only done it for the top, the left, and the right, because I just want to illustrate how we have a problem. It is still not going all the way to the bottom. And if I set this to be space between or anything like that, you're going to get this unnatural large gap in the middle. Well, here's what you do. You go to advanced for the text editor. I know it needs to be 200 pixels high. So I'm going to go over here and just type in select <laughs> tour like that curly bracket and I'm going to go height uh, colon and I'm going to go 200 pixels semicolon uh, and then close that bracket off and you can literally see what it's done there it has made it be 200 pixels high like that I mean it's it's literally now done everything I needed to do I don't have t two grandchild people in there I've just got my elements and if I was to now just uh, get rid of uh, these two child containers uh, the copies that I had. I'm just going to go and duplicate this now and duplicate this as well. And I'm going to pick this container up and just drop it at the top like that. I 
kind of now have the what I had, but I've now removed six additional containers, six grandchildren. I'm going to go in and just modify this text for a moment. I'm going to go with something like that. I'm going to split this into two, but it's currently 200 pixels in height. So we also have to account for 20 pixel spacing. So 200 take away 20 is 180 divided by two is 90. So let's just go over here to this advanced one. Uh, and I'm going to make this be uh, 90 pixels like that. By the way, you know, don't forget, you can do what you want here. You know, this this is this is your baby. <laughs> you can play around with it. I can make the boxes darker or anything I want. And now when I duplicate it, I have... I mean, I mean, someone looking at that is going to think, oh, wow, that's a really complex design that you've got on going on there. And you could even be a bit more funkier. I mean, I'm just going to, for the sake of it, for the sake of this video, change this to be something like that, am it like that. And we could say, well, what if we want to split it by two thirds? So we're still going on 180. 180 divided by three is 60. Uh, where's my advanced? There we go. Custom CSS. Let's make that one be uh, 60 like that. Bottom one would be uh, 120. And you could go in and add some, you know, a few more words if you want. Let's just pretend, you know, just, just do something like that. I've just gone and jigged around the images and I've just changed some of the colors. But that is now one parent container, three child containers. And by adding in a very simple bit of CSS code, I can basically modify how this looks but I'm going to go a step further I'm going to go a step further just because I think we can for the purpose of this video if we go to this text editor at the moment this is currently set to be 200 pixels in height if I was to go to the advanced tab and go to the custom remember that this is set as a column at the moment okay I'm going to make this be a custom width of and I'm going to go for percentage and I'm going to go for 70 percent something like that then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a button underneath like that. Now this button, uh, the wording for this button, I'm just going to say, well, I'm, I'm going to leave it as click here. I'm just going to change the style really, really quickly. Also going to change the wording. So I'm going to put in a C and then do a BR and then put in an L. So what it does is it puts the letters below one another. I'm going to repeat that until I have the word click here. And I want this button to be by the side over here. It's probably going to be too wide and I'm going to just adjust that in a moment. The first thing we have got to do is go to our child container and I'm now going to set this to be a row because automatically with column, everything sits below one another. So we're going to set that to be row, but now it's kind of slightly messed things up a bit. Uh, don't worry about that. That's okay. Just go and set things to be wrapped like that. Now, as soon as we've done that, the button is now kind of sitting where it needs to be. We've got three problems here. Number one, the image here now is completely sized incorrectly in width. This button is not even going all the way over and we have a bit of a gap down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click justify for the button and that closes up the gap there. So everything is now back to equal spacing. But we do have a problem with the height here. Now, if you were to go to the padding for the button and you start popping in values here, it actually pushes the button down, which is not what you want. Remember, you, with, with a button, you've got to do the padding down here. Now, the one little problem you do have is as soon as you hit zero, the height disappears there. So there will be a little bit of guesswork required. Um, but once you get it right, you'll be totally fine. And after a little bit of jiggery pokery, I've got it to 17.2 for the top and bottom. Now for this image over here, this one's actually really easy. The whip is set to 100%, but the minute you go to wrap, it kind of almost slightly ignores that because it is 100% within there but the width of the element is not 100%. Well, just go to advanced, go down to width, set it, you can set it to full width if you want. You can just go like that, or you might want to go in and do a uh, custom. And again, very similar to what we did with the text editor at the top, you could just go like that and set it to width. So what we now have is a custom layout going on. And remember, this is one child container, another child, another child. So parent, three children, and we got all of that in. Whereas before down here, we had a parent, uh, three children, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six grandchildren. So we are reducing the amount of containers we got because if you had replicated this inside of here, you still would have had the six grandchildren and then you're dropping in another element and then you're doing your margin padding. Whereas here, you can be quite, you know, you, you can be quite bespoke with the way you make it look. Um, and you know, um, Hey, look, it's just another way of doing things. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.